it's uh, kind of heartbreaking because uh, I spent half my life here uh, working here and uh, it uh, we're, we're gonna w there is a lot of excitement behind it because we're going to be getting a new building a new station and I'm thrilled about that uh, but it's uh, sad to see the old station go down Well, it's, it's, this is our second home. We've, uh, you know, we, we're here for 24 hours. It is a house. We, we, you know, we live here, we sleep here, we eat here, and it is our, our second family. So, I guess a lot of people don't understand that, but it really is a, our second home. Wednesday night was the last time we spent the night here, and uh, some of the other guys, this would be the last night we'll be in this station. So, it was kind of a sad thing to see it go. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, we've expected about two to three days for this move, and uh, we'll have it wrapped up today on the second day. First day went really smooth, uh, had a lot of guys, a lot of trucks, and we just load and go. Uh, the, from what I've seen on the temporary facility, that uh, it will, it's going to be uh, most accommodating for us. I think it's there's going to be some advantages and disadvantages. The advantages are we're going to have actually a little more room and like the uh, uh, and more privacy in the bedroom areas. I guess the disadvantages is that we're we're uh, kind of a, away from our home or away from our uh, familiar setting, and uh, and this is just a temporary housing to to get used to. And another thing is we're we'll also be uh, responding from a different area geographical area of the city uh, for responses. So that's going to have a big bearing on how we respond uh, to freeway incidences and stuff like that.